Now it's time to talk about else if. So that's right, we have talked about if else and now it's time to go for else if, that's reverse of it. Now why do we need it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file here and let's name it as elif dot, I mean elif demo dot py. Now this is a simple file. Now what I'm going to do here is, uh, let's take an example to understand this. Let's say we have a number which is one and I mean this number can be anything. I want to print the word format of it or name format of this. So if I say one, it should print O and E. If I say two, it should print T W O. And of course, this should not be done with the help of AI. We want to manually print those values. Now we will do from one to five so that will not waste a lot of time for all different numbers. So here, uh, how do we do it? Uh, I want to print. So of course here, there should be a print statement which will print one. And then likewise, we'll, we need uh, five more, I mean four more. So we got four, five here. And this should be two, this should be three, this should be four and five. Okay, so we got this five values. Now based on what number you enter here, it should print one of them. But here, if you directly try to do this, and if I try to run this file, which is l if demo, okay, l if underscore demo dot py, you, you will see it will print everything. We don't want to print everything. We just want to print one thing, which is this. So based on one, it should print one. And if I say, let's say three, it should print only three. Now the way you can do that, and we have done that before, what you can do is you can use if. So you can check if num is equal to equal to one. In that scenario, you can give a colon here, and then you can give that in a tab. So it will only print one, right? And we can do it for others as well. So this will be if, if the number is 2, then you will print 2, right? And I think I should do it for everything now without wasting your time. And the last one, I'm already feeling tired now. So if I say 5, it should print 5, okay? Now this will work because we know how if works. So it will check if the number is 1, then it will print 1. If the number is 2, it will print 2. If the number is 3, it will print 3 and then so on. Or if I run this, it will print 3. And whatever number you have, if you if you, if you type 5, it is going to print 5. Now, of course, if there's a number, which is, let's say, 6, now we don't have any number for this or name format for this, it will print nothing. But maybe I want to print something here. So in this case, I can say else. Or maybe I can say if the number is more than 5 or any number apart from 5, I can print incorrect. Okay. So even if you say 6 now, it will print incorrect. Uh, but then this will not work for negative numbers, right? So it will negative numbers, it will uh, it will print nothing because negative numbers are not even matching with this and even this is not a good idea. But we'll see that later. How do we solve it? But this is how you do it. And we know that from debugging, it will check each condition. So even if I apply a debugger here, the moment you run this, it will check for each value. So even if you type 2, which is matching here, it will still go all over the if. So it will check this, it will check this, it will check this, it will check this as well. Now we don't want that. Now in that scenario, we can use else, but then we can only use else once, right? So if you have, if you remember, if we have used if here, and then you can use else only once. So what if I want to use else for this first if everywhere? If this if is true, then we don't have to execute all the other conditions. In that scenario, you can use something called else if. Now, in C, we use else if. In Java, we use else if. In C Sharp, I think we use else if. In Python, we use elif. It's saving some characters. That's it. So we can use elif here. And I will talk about what elif is once I change all the ifs to elifs. Um, not the first one, but others. First need to be if. You can't directly use elif at the start because else makes sense when you have if, right? So what we have here is we got if, then for this if, we got multiple else if or elifs. Uh, the last one can be else is because if none of them is matching, we can simply say else. So we can have this index. We can have if, else if and else and in between we can have multiple else if it's just that if can be only one else can be only one elif can be any number of times in between now how exactly this is working again we can check that from debugger so i will just click here and sometimes my vs code is giving issues with the debugger i hope this time it will work otherwise i have to do the dry run and okay there's no problem we can do it now so it will first check if this is matching no it will jump to the next part. Is this matching? Yes, it will go to 
it will print two and once it is completing its job it, it it will directly come out of the if block and you can see it is just came out but let's say if you know if the number is six now in this case it will jump all over so python debugger okay i'll just launch from here so now if i say next it will check not matching check not matching so it will check all the else if not matching and then it will jump to else okay so that's how else if or elif works now of course you can have nested stuff here maybe you can check if uh, so let's say if i have one more variable here which is salary and salary is let's say five and this can be uh, a bitcoin as i mentioned <laughs> so this can be bitcoin dollars doesn't matter so if the salary is less than five or maybe the salary is greater than or equal to five in that scenario i want to print three otherwise you know when you get less salary you can mess up the stuff uh you can print three whatever you want so we have not done that before right okay we have done that salary here okay cool so we can do the same thing here so we can print three or we can print three if your salary is less than five so you can have nested if else here as well uh, so you get flexibility whatever you want to do so yeah that's how you basically work with else if see you in the next video